Siamo a Firenze al congresso scientifico internazionale Spectral Fidelity organizzato dall'Osservatorio Astrofisico di Arcetri, dell'INAF, insieme all'ESO, lo European Southern Observatory e all'Università di Ginevra. Ospite d'onore del congresso è Michel Maior, vincitore del premio Nobel per la fisica nel 2019 insieme a Didier Quelot per la scoperta del primo pianeta extrasolare, scoperta annunciata proprio qui a Firenze nel 1995. Do you have some memories to tell us of these days? Yes, it's a, it's the first hints of the existence of this planet was already achieved at the end of 94. But to be sure that it's not a different physical process, it could be pulsation or rotation of active stars and so on, we have decided to wait one year. And this was achieved in the middle of 95. And so I've decided to present this result in here in Florence because it, it was the, the location for a very interesting conference with 300 people uh, related to, to the study of solar type stars. So it was very nice because you have a lot of people here. And uh, I, one week before, Steve Beckwith, he was the boss of the uh, Hubble Space Telescope Institute, and he gave a conference to Catania at Cat and say, oh, next week you will have something interesting to be announced. So, so this was just a teaser to, to bring journalists and television and us all here in Florence. But I have some constraints, so I was not allowed to speak to journalists because it's a rule of embargo with nature and so on. So it was a very strange uh, particularity even because I, I gave the talk and the people was in the room, the journalist was in the room, the television was in the room, but I was not allowed to speak to them. <laughs> okay, so it was nice and uh, at the hotel it was terrible. Every day we received a pile of fax from the largest papers in the world, from Boston Globe, Washington Post and so on. And so I had, okay, I was obliged to not answer to these people. And they, they start to be crazy because it's not reckoned that people do not reply to such kind of requests. So, so and then that's after some time they, they realize what happened. So di they directly asked to colleagues from the States attending the conference to, to comment. So it was, but it was really a, a nice moment, yes. And uh, it was also nice to see the reaction of the uh, community of astrophysicists. Because you have some people say, oh no, we know that you have a lot of different kind of pulsation of stars. So it's not a planet. And uh, others say, oh, it could be simply because the orbit is perpendicular to the line of sight. And we, uh, it's a normal binary star, but it's not a planet, it's one. But some other people, like uh, Leo Walger, the director of ESO, Franco Pacini, the director of Archetri, uh, both of them were very kind to me, and they said, no, if you are sure of the quality of your mission, please publish, and then after we will see what is real. So it was a nice moment.